I don't know if my kids have heard it. <laughs> if it doesn't say One Direction on it, I don't know that they've, they've listened to it. Um, uh, I think they like keep on trucking, to be honest with you. Um, my wife's favorite, she's sick of me, is one of her favorites. Um, Last Turn Home is one of her favorites. And, I, and she loved us, uh, Still on the Line as well. Either you have a memory like that or a connection to that sort of bucolic, sort of idealized sort of childhood, I guess, or, or home that you grew up in, or you want to have it. So I think that that's why a song like that strikes a chord with people. Um, I grew up in a small town. I grew up, you know, playing baseball every summer and, and living around cotton fields and bean fields. I, I wasn't, certainly wasn't ide idyllic childhood, but, but I certainly had a, the sort of rural sort of background that this song sort of invokes. And um, I just, I think the record and the song in general, and, and especially this time of the year when there's a lot of great songs out there and a lot of great party songs and a lot of great turn up the radio and, and drink beer and all that kind of stuff. That's all great and I love all that kind of stuff. I think that what for me is what's cool about the song is it sits in the middle of all of that and it sort of makes you sort of stop and take a breath for a bit. And I think that that's what this record sort of represents to me, this song. Uh, I wanted to name the album that. Did you? Yeah, I, th I, th I thought, what a perfect album title, Tim McGraw Overrated. Yeah. No, um, you know what I love about that song is I love what it says. I love what it says about you know taking a moment to understand what's important in life. But I also love the drive underneath the song, which says it's okay to fight. It's okay to be in the middle of it. It's okay to go out and try to succeed. It's okay to be in the battle every day and, and you know and, and struggle and, and 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 try to win. But at the same time, you have the lyric telling you, "Yeah, that all that's okay, but you need to you need to stop and pay attention to what's really important." It's because I think both of those are part of life, and I think both of those are important. And I think you got to have both. You, you can't stop and you can't try jump out and not compete and not try to live life to the to its fullest and try to be successful, and because life will pass you right on by if you try to do that. But you can't not pay attention to the things that matter. Because for me, you got to count on love, you got to count on family, you got to count on friends, you got to count on living life in a way that makes you happy. But you also have to show your family a good work ethic. You have to teach your kids that you work hard. You have to teach your kids that you have to go out and put effort into things to succeed. So I think that that's what I love about that song as much as anything, the statement of the lyric and the drive of the track yeah. that, that, that sort of complement each other, but at the same time are are rubbing each other. And it's got a really cool guitar. Little, little and it's got a, yeah, a little banjo. <laughs> and so you can't you, look. Nothing. All else fails in country music. Sing with your sing a love song with your cousin and start out the thing with a banjo. Well, I tell you the one that that I, I like the most, that I dread the most, but it's also like my go-to workout when I don't have a lot of time. It's called a bar complex, and it's tough. It's the toughest workout I do, but. It, but you can get it done pretty quickly, and it accomplishes all your goals. And it's can it's you a describe that? yeah, it's twelve exercises. You use a bench press bar, and it's twelve different exercises. And you start off with just the bench press bar and ten reps of all twelve exercises, which is one hundred twenty reps. And you try to do that in under three and a half minutes. And then you add five pounds to each side, and then you do the same twelve exercises, but then you do eight reps, and then you keep adding all the way down to two. And then you come right back up and take the weight off as you go. So it's a, it's a, I can't add that quick, but it's a lot of reps. And it's in a quick amount of time and it gets you pretty winded and pretty beat up pretty quickly.